The LiPo ESR meter was designed by Wayne Giles, long-time modeler and retired power electronics engineer. The most important parameter which affects LiPo performance and life is the internal resistance of the cell. This is called the ESR, effective series resistance, or the IR, internal resistance. The simplest way to consider a LiPo is as a stable voltage source with a small resistance, the internal resistance, in series with it all packaged within the cell. The voltage we see at the cell output is the stable cell voltage until we take any current from the cell. As soon as we do, then the output voltage drops according to Ohm's law, V equals IR, by the value of the current multiplied by the internal resistance. For example, a cell at 4 volts with an internal resistance of 10 milliohms will fall to 3.5 volts if we take a current of 50 amps from it. This is because the voltage drop across the IR at 50 amps will be 10 milliohms times 50 amps equals 500 millivolts or 0.5 volts. On a 3 cell pack this would be 1.5 volts which does not seem huge in 12 volts but the motor power would fall by about 24% which is very significant. Thus we can see why a LiPo with a low IR gives a better performance. A high IR not only reduces performance, it also heats up the pack which reduces its life. In our example mentioned, each cell would initially dis be dissipating 25 watts of heat, that is 75 watts in a 3 cell pack. In a very good pack with a low IR, most of this 75 watts would be delivered to the propeller to fly our model instead of heating up and damaging the LiPo pack. In designing the ESR meter, the intention was to use a high current comparable with our practical operating value to measure the internal resistance of the pack as a whole and of each individual cell. The unit is very simple to operate, having only a mode switch to change between cell or pack and an operate button. To take a measurement, the unit is simply plugged into the LiPo pack and the search lead plugged into two adjacent positions in the balance connector. In pack mode, the unit will read the total resistance of the pack, including all interconnections, leads and connectors, when the read button is pressed thus. Whilst in cell mode, the meter reads only the cell to which the search wire is connected when the operate button is pressed thus. The cell mode uses a true Kelvin 4 wire connection so that the resistance of all connectors and wires are eliminated and the reading is a very accurate reading of just the cell itself. Although the pack reading is the resistance value that the ESC and motor will see in practice, that is, including leads and connectors, it is the cell readings which more accurately measure the performance of a particular LiPo. As a LiPo ages, the IR will gradually increase at a rate dependent on how well or badly the pack is treated, although initially there may be a slight fall. Treatment which affects life includes rate of discharge, level of discharge, level of storage charge and storage temperature. Inevitably, one cell will weaken first and its IR will rise. Checking cell IRs with the meter will instantly show if a cell is dying where voltage measurements are meaningless. Consistent and even cell readings tell you that you have a pack in good health. The meter allows you to compare LiPo packs by different makers claiming the same performance or C rating which is very informative as some less scrupulous makers claim C ratings which are wildly optimistic. It is very important when doing so to always measure the IR at a known and consistent temperature as the value has a negative temperature coefficient. Use a standard temperature say 20 degrees 68 Fahrenheit or 25 degrees 77 Fahrenheit and allow the packs to settle at that temperature before measurement. It is this negative temperature coefficient which explains why LiPos do not perform as well at low temperatures when their IR is higher. The extra heat developed within the pack at low temperatures will also damage the LiPo and shorten its life.
This is why you should ensure your LiPos are at room temperature before winter flying to prevent the winter failure syndrome. I hope this has given you an insight into the importance of IR and the value of being able to accurately measure it.